All right, hey guys, so yesterday there was a new Humble Bundle. This one is called the Streaming 2019 Bundle, and it's mainly full of software. There is a couple games thrown in, so I thought it was worth mentioning, but overall, in my opinion, it's not the greatest. The $1 tier gets you getting over it with Bennett Foddy, which is a very popular game among YouTubers and streamers. It's a very challenging platformer, and I think I'll play some of this at the end of the video if you're interested, just because it is kind of fun to play. The rest of the bundle is some DLC for the Darwin Project, and then Monster Cat Gold, which is some sort of music service, I'm not really sure. And then there's Pretzel Rocks, which is another music streaming service. And then you get XSplit Vcam, which I've heard is pretty popular amongst like Twitch streamers and so forth. I myself am not a streamer, but if I were to stream, I would probably use OBS Studio considering it's free and consistently gets updated and there's a lot of features already included with OBS. Um, so I'm not a streamer, so I can't really suggest this, this type of software, um, but getting over it with Bennett Foddy is probably worth $1. It's really up to you, but I would encourage you guys to check that one out. The second tier is $8.23. Again, a lot more software, and uh, also a game called Arrow, which is very positive on Steam. It's kind of like an on-rails, rhythm-based arcade shooter, sorta. Uh, it's pretty entertaining to watch, and the music's really good as well. So this game is certainly worthwhile. I wouldn't I don't know if I would pay $8 for it, uh, but if you're interested in the software, it might be a good thing to have. You also get something called Face Rig. I don't know if you guys have seen this before either, but basically, if you have a webcam, you can like turn your webcam into these anamorphic characters or these humanoid looking animals, and it'll follow your mouth, like facial recognition, so that you can look like various animals and various other creatures as well while you're talking. I think it's kind of gimmicky. I, I tried it before and uh, I really don't think it's too appealing, but some of you might have some fun with that. The rest of the, the tier includes Restream, which is a way for you to basically stream on YouTube gaming alongside Twitch, alongside maybe Facebook, all at the same time so you can have a, I guess a bigger viewer base, but again, I don't think it's really worthwhile to do that. And then there's Pretzel, premium three months, uh, this is the same thing as we saw above, but the first one has one month, and this is three months. Some sort of music streaming service that's meant for streamers, I don't even know. And then Monster Cut Gold, Cat Gold for three months as well. So a lot of the software I just feel like is kind of useless. Um, XSplit Premium, I forgot to mention that one as well. Uh, but if you're planning on becoming a Twitch streamer, perhaps this bundle might service you pretty well. If not, I mean, you can stream with OBS Studio for free, and a lot of the software just feels very gimmicky in my opinion. The final tier is at $25, which is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot in good faith <laughs> recommend you guys pay $25. Uh, but again, you're getting more of the same, just one year of all of these programs. And then you're getting something called Action, which you can find on Steam. It has mostly positive reviews. It's basically the same as OBS Studio, although it has some additional features like being able to have like a chat overlay for Twitch and so forth. Um, so Action looks pretty good. I've heard fairly decent things about it. Again, I'm more of a fan of OBS Studio. That's what I've used. I've never had a problem with it, uh, but this is usually $40 on Steam. So maybe this is more of like a premium recording software. And then FaceRig Pro, <laughs> this is just stupid in my opinion, but basically FaceRig, they want a share of the profits of people using their program to do live streams and YouTube videos and so forth. So if you earn over $500, you're technically supposed to give Facebook like a cut of the profits or you're not allowed to use their program if you're making over $500. But if you purchase Facebook Pro, basically you get the rights to use their program if you're making over $500 a month, I believe. So I don't know. That one's just kind of silly. It doesn't really give you anything. It just basically the rights to use the program. So that's pretty much it for this bundle. Very, very disappointing, I have to say. But I will, 
I guess I should suggest that the first tier is worthwhile if you're missing getting over it with Bennett Foddy. And if you guys want to help support me in this channel, you can use my referral link in the description below before you decide to purchase the bundle. And then I'll get a small cut of your purchase. Or if you want to scroll down to the bottom, you can actually split where your money goes and my name will pop up and you can give me however much of the purchase as you like. And it's a nice little donation. So I appreciate any of you guys who decide to do so. Um, but moving forward, the Humble Monthly comes out on Friday. So this is your last chance to pick up Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Again, I'll have another referral link in the description below if you are not a Humble Monthly subscriber already. You can help me out. Uh, this gives you the standard edition of Black Ops 4, which is normally $60. It's honestly a really good game, at least in my opinion. It comes with the Zombies game mode, and it is super fun to play with friends, playing co-op zombies. Uh, the graphics are fantastic. The maps are very expansive and different themes and so forth. I really enjoy the Zombies mode. The multiplayer is okay. Um, the blackout mode is like a battle royale, kind of like PUBG or Fortnite. Uh, that one's decent. Not very many people play it. And that's pretty much it. There's not a single player in Black Ops 4. But again, for an early unlock in the Humble Monthly, I think it's more than worthwhile. Uh, you'll be getting it through the Blizzard client. But the Humble Monthlies are normally $12 a month, and you also get access to a bunch of other cool features that you can see up here, like 10% off the store. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly pitch the Humble Monthly. And then finally, I wanted to show you guys that on Fanatical, they've been releasing some fairly mediocre bundles as of late, but there's a DSX bundle. You can get the full DSX series for just $9, um, which includes the older games, and then the second tier includes DSX uh, Human Revolution, which is my favorite of the series. Uh, it's a really nice like sci-fi um, stealth shooter and that I think is really interesting and at the time of its release the graphics were pretty amazing as well. And then the newest game is Mankind Divided that came out like two or three years ago I believe and uh, that's the $9 tier. So pretty good bundle of Fanatical as well if you're interested. And that's pretty much it for this video. So like I said before I did want to play a little bit of getting over with Bennett Foddy. This game is quite challenging, and mainly because the controls are very different from anything you've ever experienced before. Uh, they're very finicky, and I, I believe there's a little bit of luck involved. And another thing that makes this game very frustrating is you can easily like climb back down the mountain by like accidentally pushing yourself off, and uh, a little bit further on, there's sections that are just mind-bogglingly difficult and you'll end up falling at some point or another <laughs> and then you have to complete the uh, climb all over again. But yeah, I'm making my, some good progress here. I have played a little bit in the past, so I'm not that bad, but we're gonna push ourselves up here. And when you first play the game, there's a nice little like relaxing narration going on, but I kind of prefer to play without that. So this is like the most challenging section especially for new players of the game because we have to somehow push ourselves up this small little cavern i'm probably going to fail it on my first attempt here but i have to like push myself up and then grab this lantern thing and then i need to basically use it as like a launch point to get up to the second part Ugh. failed failure <laughs> so let's try that again oh man the physics are so finicky. Okay, so we gotta push this down and push ourselves up. Oh, oh, come on. It's so hard. Okay. And then I gotta push this up here, grab this little lantern. Up we go. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now I need to get up there without falling. Oh man, this is the hard part, because if you make one wrong move, you end up losing. Okay, so I think I'm okay, and I need to launch myself up onto that other platform. So I'm trying to position myself in an angle where this will work, and launch! Yes! Yes! Alright. So that was basically the first section of the game, and although I made that look fairly easy, when you first try this game, trust me, you're gonna fail like 200 times before you get up here. Um, so yeah, let's try to get up a little bit further. Once you get to this point, it's basically like a checkpoint, 
it's hard like you're not gonna fall back down the mountain um until later on but here we go oh man i'm already like getting frustrated <laughs> this is one of those games that you only want to play for like maybe like 20 minutes or so at a time before setting it down and coming back to it another time and i didn't get off the height there all right so i think i'm supposed to launch myself off of this there we go oh man so close i can do it i can do it no. <laughs> if I fail too much, I'll just uh, cut this short. Up, oh, up, oh, no. There we go. There we go. Okay. This section is kind of challenging as well. Let's go ahead and position myself in here. Boy sucks not having legs. Just this heavy pot. Alright, so this section. We have to like shimmy our way across this beam. Ah. Okay. Whoop. I kind of forgot the right way to do this. I think I'm okay. There we go. So you have to like. Oh crap. You have to like. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm going the other way now. There we go. I'm doing this all with my mouse. Usually platformers, like, I don't know. Doing this with a mouse is just crazy to me. Alright, now we have to, like, jump over there. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright. No, no, no. No. No, no. God damn it. Some music's playing. Going down the road, feeling bad. <laughs> At least I didn't fall all the way down. But I'm probably going to end this here. Because it only gets harder. The further you go, the harder it gets. And down we go. <laughs> All right, so that was getting over it with Bennett Foddy. And again, you can pick it up for just $1 in the first tier. I would highly recommend trying it out. Just $1, it's not that expensive. And I do appreciate any of you who decide to use my referral link. And again, just last time, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this is your last chance to pick it up as an early unlock in the Humble Monthly. And you'll get the other six or seven games on Friday, and I'll make a video on that as well. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.